Dear learner, I am Dr. Dhananjay Joshi, will teach you about today teaching methods of social sciences. As you know that social sciences is a very important subject of study. We used to tell about our learners the difference between the social studies and the social sciences. Earlier, we used to say the word social studies, but after new policy of education 1986, it has been considered that the word proper is social sciences. The difference between study and social science is that science makes a subject very, very applicable that can be one of the important aspect of the merits of science. So, we are now after this changes using the word sciences in a study of study. Before this, I would like to tell you what are the competent qualities of a social science teacher because you are dealing with society. You are dealing with uh, the students which are the lively subject. You are not dealing with lives. We are, you are not dealing with files, you are dealing with lives. So, it is very important that a social science teacher, he or she should play the role of a friend, role of a guide and role of a philosopher. These are the three qualities I feel nor I assume should not should be uh, in everyone's personality if not only for the social science teacher, these are the very important attribute for every teacher. So, for uh, the important role for me as a social science teacher, I feel we should be very friendly, we should be very, very optimistic because we are dealing with lives and the children are the blossom flowers for on you are the role model for them. The next thing you have to behave, you have to perceive, you have to tell your student and you have to guide them because today's generation is more and less depending on teacher because parents in metro cities and even in the now sub urban cities are more and less working. So, the everything lies with the teacher. So, in uh, one of the quotation, Professor Abdul, Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam has also said, teacher should act like a friend, guide and philosopher as you have to dealing with society, you are dealing with the lively subject and you have to play the third role as a philosopher. You have to show them what is the good path, what is the bad path because the generation which is today's generation is basically the adult generation, the, the so called teenagers are they are little bit I feel uh, they need more and more um, uh, guidance because the digital uh, divide and the, the kind of technologies are coming which makes them very, very confused also. So, the best way of a teacher which is uh, I feel is still the, the definition has been given, it should be a friend, a guide and a philosopher. With this note, I can also say about the other one quality of good social science teacher that he should be patient, he must be uh, a, a good listener because becoming a good teacher first you should be a good listener. So, the best way that you should be uh, uh, friendly with your student, you should take up their problems and you should also be self disciplined. Now, after this small uh, uh, discussion, I will come to the topic of today, what are the various teaching methods and why as a teacher we need such method. The best method still I feel are those which are which arose the interest of the student. If the methods are not capable to arose the math interest of the uh, student, it will become boring. And I, we feel that if you want to be a lively teacher, you want to be an enthusiastic teacher, so you should develop the interest of the subject as well as you should narrate such a way your lecture, you should start with such a way that your student should be, uh, they must feel that this class is a very, very lively class and they uh, they self motivatedly and they will praise you after the lecture that is the only quality of a good teacher he or she should arose the interest on that subject. And as well as you should also develop self activity and initiate because if you are not initiating any activity. So, that the student will feel that they are only the method are not today's chalk and talk but until and unless you are not developing their stimulate their motivation and you are not capable to arose their 
a curiosity on that subject. So, the subject become more and more dull. I again say it depending on the teachers to uh, take up the method very, very, uh, very, very sincerely because for preparing of uh, a good student, I feel the purpose of teaching of social sciences is I feel number one is preparation for life. This subject as I have told is related with life and for that you have to have a caliber that you prepare them because in US in other developed countries you go in other European countries this subject is also known as citizenship education. This subject is very very mandatory for each and every teacher and every student and they used to take the subject till their graduation but here we used to confine the social sciences to till 10th, 11th after that we have a streaming of another area. So, this subject prepares you for life because this subject you give you the idea about what is our surrounding, what are our relationship with our society as social science has been described by great philosopher, the Greek philosopher Aristotle the, the he has given a very beautiful quotation which I would like to uh, share with you dear learners, man is a social animal and he further said if you delete the word. Uh, social he will remain just animal. So, this subject makes you more and more social and I feel the very purpose of teaching of social sciences is preparing for life, preparing for you for your society, preparing for your community and as well as creating awareness. This is the very important area of social sciences because it is a very very evolving and very very challenging kind of a subject which daily evolves. So, I feel the very important aspect of this subject is creating awareness. Then it also uh, I feel this approach which is the very important approach as um, uh, various educationists has been suggested nowadays we should adopt in social sciences integrated approach rather than mixture. We have to take the integrated approach we have to, uh, to take the all the approaches constructively and we should be very very integrated in our decisions and our abilities. So, this uh, purpose of this teaching of social sciences is, is a realistic study, it is a study of human relationship as I have told you. This subject makes you more and more humane and in a country like India where we are living in a democracy, India is the second largest democracy of the world and in which the uh, social sciences plays a very very important role. We are talking about methods of teaching social studies and I would like to say uh, the social study is a is not is a basically about methods I can say method is not merely a device adopted for communicating certain items of information to students and exclusively the concern of the teacher who is supposed to be at giving end. Any method good or bad links up the teacher and his pupil into an organic relationship with constant mutual interaction. So, before teaching social sciences the teacher has certain instructional objectives to be realized during teaching learning process. To achieve these objective the different methods or different methodologies can be used by a teacher or I feel there are we uh, used to say there are some conventional method, some modern method. So, this is upon the teacher that the which method is suited to the requirement of the learner, he or she should be a versatile to apply those method which are important for the grooming of the child. It is like the arrows on with in your hand that you should know about where is your des destination and how to that how to make your learner more and more intelligent. So, the no method is perfect unless until you have not the ability to using some of the method as I have said that conventional are storytelling method. It is a very very popular method. We are still in our uh, adult life even in mature life even the, the, the students the learners are very interesting of hearing any good story. So, the best way is still from the convention time, conventional time is the story telling method. It arouses the curiosity, it gives certain values, it imbibes with some good uh, virtues. So, the story telling method is still very popular, but still it has been used in the lower classes. Generally, the social scientists that the, uh, the edu teacher educators feel social the story telling method is applicable at our 
primary and elementary level because there the learners are very small the learners are very very uh, in a tender stage where you can share and narrate any story they will have uh, interest on that subject because if you are giving them lecture at the tender age like elementary age or in a primary stage so they will not take so much interest because they are bubbling with energies so the good teacher at elementary level at primary level is the best storyteller at no one can be perfect i can say that and uh, that uh, that stories uh, telling is also an art no one is perfect in storytelling but we should uh, we should able to uh, acquaint and we should able to adhere with this quality of storytelling so i feel that stories are still very popular in social sciences another conventional method is a lecture method which is also a very very important but as i have told you lecture method has its own merits and as well as its demerits the lecture method is very important but at the level of above elementary where a learner is a little mature learner is now above the age of uh, infancy he is above the stage of uh, the childhood so the lecture method is important because lecture method has a merit you can summarize various things you can summarize various literature through the interesting lecture an interesting lecture can make you a very popular teacher in your school but the important quality for you that you should able to draw and you should able to sketch your uh, the points on your lecture you should give specific information and specific knowledge to a learner that's why lecture method is very very important still from uh, the olden time to this time various uh, popular teachers are still using this lecture method but now after innovation of information communication technology it would be better that a teacher should use lecture method with with modern techniques of uh, projection with new ICT so lecture is a very popular teacher still in many parts of uh, the world and i do feel that a teacher if he is not able to uh, uh, having a good communication is not giving a good sound information to the learner so he or she is not completed without having the training about giving lectures then the project method project method is not a conventional method it's a innovative and it's a new time method nowadays project method is popular in schools basically this method has been derived from john dv who is popularly given his theory of uh, of uh, project method he emphasized on that learner should be given more and more time to involve himself in projection he should be given more and more time to do some project if you are not giving them time to learning with doing kind of a concept that he or she is not able to do or inquire about his surroundings so he or she is not be able to be get more and more maturity so i feel project method gives learner a time he gives a open canvas to doing his own colors so project method is popular it's a now new method one of the method is called problem solving method to social sciences teachers used to have this method uh, apply this method of problem solving method this is also a innovative way of giving any problem and you ask your learner that the problem is like this now you can have uh, you can come and we can come together and we can solve this problem so the problem solving method is very important and very popular which gives a learner a kind of inquisitiveness it gives a learner a freedom to solve the problem and they feel also they also feel that teacher is believing on them and i feel that if you give, give them time if you give them opportunity so they will become a very very nice they will become a very nice human being and they would be a, a good student also because you are believing on them my dear learners it is very important you believe on your students another method is discussion method discussion method is also a very conventional method but still very very popular you this method basically uh, is very important in at any level whether it is primary whether it is elementary or at any level if you are not having a discussion on your class so teacher is not getting any judgment whatever she or he is delivering 
is actually retaining by the student or not. So, it is very important that the teacher should have discussion on the classrooms. Sometime it has been uh, seen that, sometime it has been uh, was that teachers are uh, uh, giving their uh, lectures on a chalk and talk method and uh, they have completed the full lecture, full lesson and still uh, students are not able to grasp anything. So, what is the best way? I think the best way is discussion. You ask, you take a pause of your every lecture, then you discuss a problem within the class. Many problems, many issues can be discussed in the classroom and by that you can reach to the unreached. It means you can involve the student who are sitting on the last bench because it is very important. Generally, what we have seen that teachers are generally it has been uh, noted in various researcher, researches that teacher is involved and teacher is busy only first four five lines or the first four uh, front seat students and if they are saying yes, so teacher feels that his lecture is completed, his students have understood everything. But I feel a good social science teacher is a teacher who uh, you know, who touched the last bench, who touched every student, who not only call the student by their roll number, but the best teacher who is also call them by their names. So, the discussion method is arose uh, basically their interest on the subject and they should also feel rejuvenated and sometimes they, they will feel that yes, I have also a value in my class, my teacher can ask any question any time to me. So, the discussion method I feel is still very popular and I as a teacher, as a teacher educator, I used to have using this discussion method in my classes as well as. One of the method is textbook method. As well as, as you know that textbook method is also a conventional method, but textbook method is very useful method because you know knowledge is boundary, boundless, knowledge is, knowledge is basically epitome, knowledge is boundaryless, there are knowledge cannot be having limitations. So, that is why the NCRT and the uh, NIOS and the bo other bodies has, has uh, they have, uh, they have made a curriculum and be, uh, on that curriculum the textbooks has been written by the scholars and textbook is a ready made material on the hands of the learner as well as on the hands of the teacher to confine ourselves, it gives us a road map so on which we have to travel. So, I feel that textbook method is a very important way, it gives an a guidance and on that you also we also know that uh, how much part uh, we have till covered and how much part we have still left and for that when uh, in a country like we where we have having uh, CC module and we are having board systems, we are having scholastic and non-scholastic patterns of evaluation, this method helps us a lot to follow this. One of the method is nowadays very popular and it is a very innovative method and I would like to you know, tell you in detail about this that is called laboratory method. Dear learners, laboratory concept in social science, some, some uh, social sciences sometimes feels uh, 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 very challenging. Sometimes uh, uh, it's, uh, it has been in a time when it has been questionable also, but it has now been proven that laboratories is a great demand on social sciences as well as. For a good social science teacher has the laboratory, civics laboratory or the history laboratory or the geography laboratory or economics uh, laboratory, he can use his own resources in these labs. Because if you are having these kind of laboratories, like in I can narrate one example from uh, civics is a part of social sciences, where you can have your civics lab, you can demonstrate the models of Panchayati Raj system. You can show a student about what is the idea of Panchayati Raj system, which has, is a very important part of the dream of Mahatma Gandhi, which is the very important part of our constitution. So, the laboratory method and this way you can have your own laboratories of social sciences in which you can have uh, various models with respect to your area like you have a model of democracy, you can have a method of your uh, adult franchise and you can have another method. So, the laboratory method is a very, very important method in social science. Nowadays in every good school, now there is a civics lab, they are having a social science labs. Further, I would like to after this, these are the some of the methods which I have given you, but I have also told you with the method are only the supporting elements for a teacher. They are not the absolute things. 
it is depending upon a teacher a good teacher used a balance approach suppose you are a teacher in a government school or in a private school at le which level you are teaching that is very important you have to start your your methods you have to start your lecture any math any of the method you are teaching in a small level you are teaching at elementary level you start from the stories that stories will arouse the uh, the interest on that subject then further you can have another method and uh, you can apply discussion you can apply debate debate is also one of the very important method nowadays very popular method after uh, you can see uh, uh, one of the way is having called debate method youth parliament competitions have been conducted by every schools by government of india to giving a citizenship knowledge about the leadership knowledge so this method debate method is also very popular every good schools having a debate society also so the social science teacher takes the lead role on this way of debating to telling about what is a type of a good debater because in a democracy you have you should have a quality of leadership and that should come that virtue should be developed by the social science teacher so i feel this method is very popular nowadays and as well as one of the method which you can see in televisions which you can see that nowadays teachers are popularly using that is called quiz method that quiz method like kon banega karodpati type quiz you can have uh, using their subject kind of quiz in your subjects and believe me if sometimes teach, uh, our student used to tell us that we are feeling boredom we are not taking interest so you have this quiz method i have applied in my class also teacher takes so student takes so much of interest on quiz method you divide your class into four groups a b c d and you can have any quiz and you can ask the student Uh, a b c d you can ask and you can have one scorer also you can have a question bank readily available with you and you give uh, marks to each and every winning team and by that after the end of your lecture you will have a you know kind of a uh, uh, interesting environment in your class the student will take a very important uh, interest on your subject if you are using the quiz method because quiz gives them a full ability to uh, to 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 prosper as well as to uh, to give them important role to play so that's why the quizzes are nowadays very popular various televisions various shows are made on quiz method and i feel you can use as a social science teacher in your classrooms so with this i can say the methods are very useful as now i can just summarize till that what we have learned till what we have done till there till till the time the various uh, methods are popular but the important methods which are helpfuling for the developing the interest of the student which are useful for teaching which are helpful in developing the thinking they are very important to generating their imagination they are which are very important in helpful in developing their virtues every method has their own merits every method has some kind of virtues because we as a teacher should develop truthfulness charity cooperation tolerance so these are the things which we can develop through the help of our teaching through the help of our methods they are also helpful to an overview of the large unit or a topic suppose you are taking any good topic you are taking a revolution of 1857 so it's a very very long kind of a chapter which needs a full overview and this with the helping of any method like in a lecture method you can take an overview and give a proper understanding about the topic in a 40 minutes class because class time is confined to 40 to 50 minutes and is a large unit if you are not able to take a good good method you are not able to confine you are not able to complete your lecture on that particular time so the methods helpful in giving an overview it also aid and supplement to people's reading it also gives a background to it also help to saving our time because time and energy is very very important and it is also important uh, to give an assignment to clarify their concepts so the methods are part and parcel of any uh, good teacher and and i feel that every teacher should use various kind of teachers in this uh, in, in their presentation so with this i would like to complete my uh, words with a saying and which i feels that you should also uh, uh, inculcate this uh, 
quotation then average teacher the which says then average teacher teaches and better one demonstrates but the great teachers inspires so i feel you should be a, a great teacher your role is not given your role is not only a teaching your role is not only giving them demonstration but you are a best teacher and for that you are uh, for you for that you have to very very optimistic for that you have to play a role of inspiring teacher and there are very less teacher those are inspiring teachers because you have to play a role of their destiny maker as kothari commission 1964-66 said a nation cannot a nation, a, the destiny of a nation lies in its classrooms destiny of a nation it's only lies in our classroom so it is our moral duty to uh, to shape the destiny and for that every good teacher a social science teacher has to use various kind of methods and various combination of method that is the first priority of a good teacher to using the various combination of methodologies with this i take your permission thank you very much